it oh, is it a does have a chain. This is the Revo Hubless e-bike, and last time we reviewed it and found out just how bad it is. I found it to be delicate, underpowered, and most of all, dangerous. In fact, if you set it in motion, it starts a chain reaction whereby the cranks turn, engaging the pedal assist and sending the bike into oblivion. Oh no. And as you can see, there's acres and acres of cheap plastic all over this bike, a husk that its innards are enclosed in. We're gonna take it apart today and see what's inside. I'm so excited to take this thing apart. When I got your text that we were gonna do this, I was just jumping for joy. My goodness. The Revo is astonishingly heavy. You can see Pat struggling to get it up onto the stand. This thing's like 70 something pounds. But in Revo's promotional video, they actually make mention of the bike's weight. It rides and handles exceptionally well thanks to a strong lightweight core. What do you think that strong lightweight core is? My guess is that it's like a, a really rough casting of like a bent I-beam. Oh, oh, that one's missing. Ooh. Oh. Oh my. Yeah, that's. Just square stock aluminum. Rusted, every bolt's rusted. You How? wanna drill a hole in it? I do. There's no way that's not hollow. Oh yeah. Oh no, I was wrong. That's eighth inch thick at least. It's lightweight. Well, it ain't gonna break. I don't think your warranty's gonna fly anymore. There was never any warranty. So to legally call the Revo a class one e-bike and ask the pedal with or without the motor, and this does, how does it do that? What's going on in there? Is there a chain? Is there a bunch of gears? We're gonna start taking it apart to find out. <laughs> it's not a freewheel. You hear it? Oh yeah, something's rolled around in there. So this is only half the story here. You can see this drives the wheel. The entire wheel looks like it's a gear that goes all the way around. But as you remember in the original review video, this was extremely difficult to pedal. Take a look at this. This has got to be part of the resistance right here, but I'm interested to know what we're going to find when we take the other side of the clamshell off. We want to see what goes from here to here, don't we? Yes. You got to remove the kickstand. Yeah, for I think she's got these three. <laughs> these bolts just moving around. We should have been counting how many of these there were. There's got to be something else holding this on. The suspense is killing me. I can't get it past the brake pad. And it won't, the pads won't come out because the caliper is all squished. Oh, it oh, is it a chain! It does have a chain! With a little spring! How? This is the gift that keeps on giving. And there's a chain drive in there. It has a name brand chain. Really? It's KMC. Wow. But if you roll it backwards, <laughs> Our minds are kind of blown right now. I don't know what I was expecting. A lot of tooling went into making this. You put an engineer on a really dumb task, they're really smart and they're gonna figure out how to do your dumb thing. But make no mistake, this was a bad idea. While we have this apart and we can see how it pedals, Revo actually had something to say about the pedaling and the pedal assist. If you prefer, use the incredibly clever pedal assist that adapts to road gradient and provides you with a gentle boost that feels so natural. It's not a super smart or innovative pedal assist, I can tell you that. It's one of the worst pedal assists I've ever used and it's underpowered. Let's see what's powering it. There's gotta be a motor in here somewhere. I'm betting right here. A variety of torque specs. They're all rusted. Rust is nature's Loctite. Oh, oh, here's the guts. Whoa. All right, let's try and go through this. This motor turns this way, which turns this shaft to a gear right over here. It goes this way, and then this goes backwards, and then it turns a gear this way. Now, if you go back across, that gear is this gear. Once this rotates forward, this gear rotates forward, which in turn, if you would kindly switch sides again, turns this gear, which then turns the chain 
to this one, and then once again, we swap, which turns this gear, which turns the wheel. How many gears is it? So 12 gears if you include the actual wheel as a gear. I wonder, Pat, if that's why it has that much resistance when you pedal. Yeah, this is like gearbox worst case scenario. So right now the motor is not on, and with great difficulty I am pedaling it. Can you believe how loud it is? So now that we have it all apart and we're in here, we can talk about my greatest discovery, the chain reaction that happens when you start rolling the bike. It just starts moving the cranks and then moving the cranks engages the pedal assist, which turns the wheel, which moves the cranks and the bike runs away. Take a look at this. Okay, so you're, you're walking your bike and you kind of jog across the street a little bit. And it kicks in and then it's a chain reaction because the pedaling keeps it going. Look at this. Okay, so Pat, how much you want to bet if you turn that back wheel, it turns the cranks? Uh, a hundred percent. So if your feet are on the pedals, it'll hold still. But if you let go, go ahead and turn that back wheel. <laughs> it turns the freaking pedals! It turns the crank and it engages the pedal assist. Oh no. Wow, this is really crappy. So is Squatch officially a Revo service center? I'll fix whatever you got, man. Bring it in. So this is the part everyone is waiting for, especially Pat, those hubless wheels. That's the mother of bad ideas. That is what makes this bike so terrible. Everything else had to be built around around that. And so, we're gonna take those wheel covers off and see what's behind them. A great mentor of mine once said, if you take enough bolts out, anything will come apart. Oh, it's it's just a strip. It's just a light strip. That's the light. Yeah, yeah. just rip it off. Yeah, you're good. Oh, it'll go back in. Yeah. It's like underglow lights. Are you ready? I am ready. Are you? I'm so ready. I can't say that I'm surprised, Pat. No. I was kind of hoping there might be something cooler in here. Is it just rolling on ABEC bearings? No. Or those little wheels in I there? think they're little nylon wheels. Let me get some light on it. Got pins. Oh, did you hear it? I heard, I heard something in there. So we're hearing this little rattling sound. There's something in there rattling around. And if you remember in that video, as I mentioned before, I hit a little tiny bump on the greenway and it started making knocking sounds. Probably there's a little piece of crap in there that fell into the gear and started getting stuck. So now we got to figure out what that is. Oh, you hear that? I heard it, I heard it. Oh, it can't go that way. Yep. Yeah, yep. Pin, wheel, snap ring. And These will come out. Here, watch. Go over here. I'll hit the pin right out. Oh. So now that wheel is just rolling in there. So I guess it's like a cartridge bin, right? So if you let all these wheels roll down to the bottom, it should just... We're going to remove the rim drive cog. Is that what it's called? You is are it, right. Is yeah, it moving? Yeah, it's coming out. It's engaged. Pat's not so sure we can get this back together if we take it apart, but I want to take the risk. I want to take it apart. I want to see why I was making that thumping noise, and then we'll try and get it back together. We'll see. I'm just going to chip all this off. Oh, I'm all greasy from the ring. Lighter by now. Oh, there's oh, one. There it, is. it is a little tiny skateboard wheel. It's out. I thought for sure that that kerchunk was like a broken tooth. It's machined from a piece of oh. cast aluminum. Wait, so the wear item is the rim? The <laughs> hardest part of the entire bike to change? Yes. yes, this is the wear item. This is like, oh man, it's just time for a new chain. Nope, gotta replace the entire wheel combo. And you have to do this to that poor bike to get it. Look at that, it's a rim channel. And then it bolts on like that. That would have been a lot easier. The tire and the braking surface are replaceable parts. Oh, that's what was rolling around. One of the screws came out and was rolling around inside the tire on the rim. The airless tires are actually possible to replace in service. Everything on the rear is possible to replace in service if you're down to epoxy it back together. Um, yeah, still kind of a thumbs down. So in the video, I demonstrated how bad these wheels roll. I want to show you on the front wheel, which is still in one piece, how it rolls compared to a normal bike. 
One, two, three. <laughs> it's pretty close. I know, I don't think we really gave the Revo wheel a fair chance. Let's just spin it once more. I mean, I'm being as fair as I can be. Yeah, it's a little RC car steer servo. When you engage the anti-theft system with the fingerprint scanner. It worked super good. Yeah, it worked super good. Uh -huh. This servo is supposed to turn and lock the kickstand in place so that the wheel stays locked. So the servo makes sure that you can't move the kickstand? Yes. Oh, okay. So the anti-theft just locks the kickstand in place. Yes. You know, that's actually not a terrible idea. So there you have it, people. I could have done a little bit more preparation and research before taking this thing apart, but you know what? I thought it would be fun to just figure it out. Most bicycles you can just kind of look at and see how they work. This was a challenge. But seeing that Squatch now has a parted out Revo with most of the parts sort of working, if your Revo is broken, this is now an authorized service center and I'll give you my parts for free. What? You just gotta pay them like 12 hours of labor to do it. But again, this is like the Rube Goldberg machine of bicycles. It took a lot of thinking and a lot of doing and a lot of tooling and engineering to build something really, really dumb that's actually a terrible bicycle. If you want to see my original review on the Revo, it's on my main channel. I'll link to it below. And if you want to see more weird bikes, you can check out my Bicycle Spotlight playlist. Thank you, Pat, for hanging out tonight and taking this Revo apart. Thank you guys for watching. And thank you, Squatch Bikes and Brews and Brevard, for letting us use your shop. And thanks for riding with me today. I'll see you next time.